Oh, yeah? Well, I'm, I'm gonna form a team of the best heroes on Earth. And we're gonna use the rings to stop all of you, no matter how many there are. Right, Joe? I think I finally discovered my favorite Craig McCracken cartoon, and its name is Kid Cosmic, a 10 episode animated miniseries produced exclusively for Netflix about a boy who finds alien space rocks that give him superpowers. Yes, this is a superhero cartoon, but it doesn't quite go the way you might think, because the whole premise of the show isn't that the main character is instantly successful at being a hero, it's that he's actually really bad at it. It's a series about a team of untrained, unprofessional misfits coming together to fight a bunch of aliens in the desert, where the closest thing resembling a town is a few houses, a junkyard, a gas station, and an old diner, where the protagonist is a young orphan living in the middle of nowhere with his grandfather. Given how his biggest form of entertainment is a bunch of old comic books, the main character is of course obsessed with superheroes, but the show actually uses this to illustrate its main theme, and subtly criticize older definitions of heroism, contrasting the fantasy of being powerful with what you actually do with that power, so as to articulate that being a hero isn't about achieving glory or looking cool, it's about helping people and doing what's right. Being a hero isn't about forming a fist, it's about extending a hand. Heroes help, not hurt. Where the Powerpuff Girls, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and Wander Over Yonder have a lot of episodes that are focused on comedy, Kid Cosmic's first season only consists of 10 episodes that are focused around a specific narrative that the characters are going through. So while you might think that I would be more attached to Powerpuff or Foster's because they were around during my childhood, I actually prefer Kid Cosmic because it's more story based and just really appeals to me personally. I mean, Wander Over Yonder definitely looks cool, and it's cute how it predates Kid Cosmic and how it also features a skinny hippie with a big hat and facial hair, as well as a female protagonist who is trying to keep the main character out of trouble, but it's just that whenever I watch Kid Cosmic, I feel like I'm watching a cartoon that Craig McCracken made specifically just for me because it has so many elements that I like in one package. There's a vintage diner, superhero themes that actually question what being a hero really means, a Power Ranger style Sentai team, villainous metaphors for American institutions, a desert highway, and old timey surf rock music that plays over the credits. Like, it's not everything I could ever want in a cartoon series, but I definitely feel like Kid Cosmic is my kind of show. And there's even stuff in here that I didn't even know I would be into, like the parts where the animation is played back at a choppier frame rate for a comedic effect that is genuinely really funny. Listen, I'm sure that Powerpuff Girls, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and Wander Over Yonder make for some very solid minutes of television, but I can only have one favorite Craig McCracken cartoon. And if you're anything like me, I'm sure that you're going to really enjoy Kid Cosmic Season 1.